I was very good at football. I was pushed to play football. Then I got hurt. What happened? Uh, knee injury, back injury. Ouch. And so that completely just ruined. Like, you had a vision for what your life was going to be like prior to yeah, that? Yeah, I had promised my whole family a whole bunch of mm. And that happened what? How old were you? 17. I was in a wheelchair for like six months. Really? Yeah, 18. And that made you sort of, what, zero in on the, the funny part of your personality? I was always funny. Okay. I was on MTV Your Mama when I was 16. 16? Mm-hmm. From Georgia. How did you, you get in that position? Went to Atlanta. Audition with my mom. Uh-huh. And uh, was this like a, a realization, an awakening, when you realized that your, your true potential didn't lie in your body but your mind? Well, once I got hurt, I had to displo- uh, figure out other options. I was out there jugging. Robbing with my friend, he went to prison. Define jugging. Uh, allegedly, I was buying fake gold and selling it. I was buying it in Atlanta and selling it in Macon. And by gold, you mean cocaine? No, gold. Oh, gold okay. jewelry. Okay. We were stealing tools out of people's trucks, pawning them. Really? So you were kind of like... A tornado had came through. We were going inside of people's houses. It was bad. I was, I was on a path of destruction. And then when he went to prison... I said, I got to get out of here, and I moved to California. He got picked up for what? Uh, he was selling a cell phone, and he robbed a guy. Guy took the gun and put him on the ground. Oh, sh! And I was supposed to be there, but I was with my girlfriend at the time. Wow. And so that changed everything for you? When I saw that that night laying in bed with her, I was just like, I got to figure shit out. When you say you saw it, you mean like? On the news. On the news? Yeah. Holy shit. I was like, yo, baby, I can't do this anymore. And had you even dabbled in the comedy shit before you headed out to L.A.? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You are starting to get your, your toes wet. I was bit. more of an actor. I was doing a lot of acting stuff. Okay. And then you move out here, and what, what does life become? Where'd you move? Horrible. I was in the valley. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you went straight to the valley? You got to skip over I was over on Sherman the, Way in Tampa. You, you skipped the downtown L.A. part of your life? Because you're I supposed to get a one-bedroom apartment in downtown L.A. and get cra- harassed by meth heads at all times of day. I moved there three years after I lived here. Oh, really? Okay. Do you hate it? Downtown? Yeah. I did until... I loved it until I had a kid. Downtown yeah. is what sends people to Austin. <laughs> True. If you spend a year downtown L.A., then you deserve Or uh, Venice Austin. Beach. Yeah, either one. Just any crack-oriented yeah. part. Crack-oriented. <laughs> I mean, I lived downtown for two, three years, and for sure. It what just, part? Uh, like 6th and Spring. I was right there, 5th and Spring. Yeah. Yeah. I had a bike shop on 5th and Los Angeles, and it was I knew your insane. bike shop. Oh, you did? Wow. Yeah. That's sick. So you was right there by the 7-Eleven? Yeah, like a block or two away from that. Yeah, I know exactly the what 7-Eleven You, you had SB yeah. Grand? Uh, I was at 621 South Spring Street, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. It was across the street I think I from... I 511 Spring. Yeah, I can't remember. That was, no, 501 South Spring. That was a good era, though. I was getting a lot of, like, indiscriminate random vagina at that point. You used to go life. to the Down and Out? Yes. Bar? But we were next to King Eddie, so that was our local watering hole. Right there. That's I, where a lot of homeless people went. Facts. And I, I had a really great game plan going where I would meet girls on Tinder, meet up with them at the bar next door, have a couple of drinks, then bring them next door. Hey, this is my store. Boom. Come on in. Bang them out on the desk. Send them on their way. I never How even had How many bitches do you think you In my life? Probably like 600 or something. Maybe. Shit. I had like 300 before I started doing you, Oh, you, you do porn? Yeah. That's my wife's flashlight. if you'd like to take it in the bathroom later. Oh, shit. That was you and your wife. <laughs> that That's <was>. my homeboy. <laughs> Who? Jason. Jason Love, yeah. really? Oh, so there were definitely ops. Uh, no, but Wait, I, we're ops? No, I'm just kidding. I, shout out to Jason. But uh, I was just at the Porn Awards. And we In didn't, Vegas. We didn't run into him. It's kind of awkward. We were, we were like really excited to take a he's, photo. He's huge. Yeah. And he's a freak of nature. He's like 6'4. I'm 6'3. But you ain't that swole. <laughs> That I nigga, could be. He could be in the NFL. Stick a needle in my ass, I could be. <laughs> Not saying that he's Why your ass? You kind of gay? No. I've done, you ever done steroids? Do I look like I've done steroids? See, see, you haven't hung out with Rogan enough if he hasn't let you in on how this works. Yeah, you just you use the, the fatty butt muscle. And Rogan you, doesn't do roids. Okay, well, whatever you want to call it. TRT. Hormones. Yeah, yeah TRT. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but uh, what, you, you, you're, not, you're not interested in that? Um, I'm still young. Maybe in like three, four years. Yeah, I mean... I feel like once you get to a certain age, you kind of you got to start running that program. 
Yeah, I go to his doctors. I'm dropping some weight. Flacco's like, bro, you getting smaller? I'm like, yeah, bro. Bro, getting healthier. Flacco, that is every person he meets. He either tells them that they look fatter or shorter or taller than they look on the internet. It's what like, I'm getting, I'm getting smaller. That is his introductory statement to everyone. It's crazy. Well, his introductory <clears throat> statement was actually, "You're the goat." Yes, I, I 100% knew that he was going to say that. As yeah. soon as I realized that you guys were talking in the hallway, I knew he was going to be flipping out on you because <laughs> he loves anyone who will challenge the sort of mainstream Flacco black thick. You need consensus. to put him in porn. Oh, yeah, he got a thing on him for Them sure. fucking yeah. hips he got? He always says he has a 10-inch dick. I tell him to pull it out. Yeah, that would be great, but as a boss, I don't know if I would really want to <laughs> insist upon that. sexual harassment? Mm, I mean, I don't know because it would be like a willing dick showing, but... <laughs> For sure, I would like to see what he's working with, but I'm not going to ask him to whip it out. Yeah. Is it gay if you ask to see another man's dick? Not for me. As long as you don't suck it, right? If you suck it, it's gay. I personally, though, like have had this problem with a lot of different rappers where they tell me that they want to get into porn, and then I say, like, let's see it. They're and, shy. And they're like, that's gay. And I'm like, okay, that is literally the <laughs> whole thing in porn. How do you like porn? That's fine. Actually, is it's it just a job or is it pussy sometimes? Uh, it's both. It's a job and it's like, oh, hell yeah. I get to touch on a new vagina today. Outside of your wife, who got the best pussy? Hmm. I don't know. This girl, Dan Dangler, sat on my face the other day, so I felt like I got a really good encounter with her vagina. She got a nice one. I'm talking about feeling where you're like, fuck, I got to stop before I bust. There's this girl, Kelly Kay, and I, I, I nutted like prematurely with her. She's from Nashville, I think. She's a down south girl, so that might be why. I feel like down south they have like way lower body counts on average. Yeah. But she had a kid after I want to say that. Niggas be fucking in the south. Nah, that's a good point. But I feel like they got smaller dicks down south. I don't know. The cities, New York and LA got bigger dicks, right? No, that's, there's no nobody's going to go for this. <laughs> Nah, I say country <laughs> niggas. Yeah, that's kind of like a stereotype that you could just be like a well-hung farmer, right? Yeah. 